Achieving Impartial Jury Cross-Sectional Selection Introduction Can one be sure that in the case of trial, they will be judged fairly by the jury? The evidence suggests that not all U.S. citizens can be equally guaranteed the basic right established by the Sixth Amendment. Many scholars argue that the current community cross-section system may be increasingly unfair towards certain minority groups leading to their underrepresentation in the court. Additionally, such a tendency is associated with increasing negative perceptions of the criminal justice system. In this regard, it can be argued that existing discrimination towards minorities during the jury selection process makes those groups mistrust of a white-dominated judicial system and, thus, ignore abiding by the existing institutional norms. On the one hand, that may further increase the representation gap between dominant and minority groups, and, on the other hand, it can reduce the respect for the juridical system, leading to a rise in deviation. For that reason, this essay intends to provide a brief discussion of the barriers that deter impartial jury selection and to analyze how the existence of this issue within courts affects other institutions. Moreover, the current paper seeks to develop recommendations to address this problem. Barriers to Fair Jury Selection The issue of underrepresentation of minority groups in the jury is mainly explained by three reasons namely processual, socioeconomic, and discrimination-based factors. The former cause is related to the procedure of how jurors are selected. In this respect, occasionally people from minority groups face trials in areas other than the ones defendants are originally from. However, other locations' racial and socioeconomic composition may differ significantly from where the accused person resides. Therefore, the jury would not fairly represent the community where the criminal act was committed. Also, the process of juror selection may be inadequate because people are chosen based on registered voters and driving license lists. The latter usually would include fewer people from lower classes and minority groups than people from other groups, which implies that the selection is unfair. Socioeconomic reasons include the disparity between the earnings of different groups, which deters people's participation as a jury. That happens due to small financial compensations that are far below the average daily earnings. Therefore, poor people would be less likely to become jury members. Finally, direct discrimination may also be one of the reasons for unfair jury cross-section selection. Although cases such as Batson v. Kentucky created a precedent against open intolerance towards otherness in the context of jury choice, some researchers argue that discrimination still exists implicitly. Impact on other institutions As it was mentioned previously, the unfair representation of certain groups in the court can lead to mistrust in the system and consequent deviations in behavior. However, this, in turn, can have a spillover effect on other institutions. For instance, people from minority groups knowing that the criminal justice system is prejudiced towards them may refuse to follow instructions from the authority representatives such as police officers. Therefore, it is fair to claim that institutions within the criminal justice system are highly interconnected. Conclusion Overall, the current essay analyzed the problem of achieving impartial jury cross-sectional selection and what the consequences are if institutions fail to do so. It was found that the main barriers that negatively affect fair population representation in the court are processual, related to the methods of how jurors are selected, socioeconomic, related to population financial disparity, and discrimination-based factors. Moreover, it was argued that the existing discrimination within the courts could affect other organizations such as police departments. Recommendations Based on the previous discussion, this paper seeks to propose certain recommendations to facilitate the issue's solution. First, the courts in each province can conduct a population census to investigate the community composition for representation purposes. Second, computerized systems can help reduce the potential discrimination of one group over another due to class conflict. Finally, the courts can offer greater financial compensation to people from lower classes to increase their motivation to participate in jury.